The purpose of this video is to teach you how to subscribe to a podcast. I think some students uh, are still not getting or learning how to do this, so I want to make sure that everybody knows how to subscribe to a podcast. Uh, log into any uh, Moodle class that has a podcast, and there's a couple different places where you actually can uh, get the podcast. You can either get them in the activities box over here, or you can just go to where they are located in the class site. So, for example, in this class, or in the welcome box. So I'm going to click on the activities link for podcast. Um, to subscribe to a podcast, you want to click the RSSI podcast uh, link. Then what you need to do is go up to the menu here, or whatever it's called. Uh, I forget what that stupid thing's called. You want to copy the URL address. So copy. Then you need to open your iTunes account. Click on the podcast menu, or podcast library menu link. Click the advanced um, menu. Subscribe to the podcast, or subscribe to podcast, click that. And then you need to paste the uh, URL address that you copied from the class into the subscribe to podcast window, then click the OK button. And then, if you notice here on the, in the library of your um, podcast, you have these arrows that point up and down. You want to make sure you point the arrow down. And if there's more than one podcast, you should click the Get All um, button. And then it will download all of your podcasts. And then you can click the podcast. And play your podcast and listen to it. And if you have an iPhone, iPod, iPod Touch, you should be able to take these with you where you want. Um, and we go back to the Moodle class site. Now what this is over here in the Moodle class site is an RSS feed. You can actually set this up to go to your uh, computer just like a news feed for an RSS news feed and have them go there. I just think it's easier to have them go to your iTunes account. In the class site, if you click on any of these podcast links and click that, then click the attachment link Okay. Now, the, the disadvantage of watching these in Moodle is if it's a video, it does take some time to download, um, and so it's a little bit more stable in iTunes, and plus you have the transportability with your iPod, iPod Touch, or your iPhone. Um, as a reminder, all these instructions are contained in the Moodle training um, guideline that is uh, contained in the Moodle training course that I sent to you at the very beginning of this program. So it's really important that you uh, subscribe to podcasts in our classes. Have a wonderful day.